men and women at the, at the slave surf level are being divided from each other because they want Katy Perry to teach your little girls that the state, let's go back to that video, that the state is your man. The state is your beau. Under this system, women owe their allegiance to the state. What did another feminist say close to, what, 90 years ago in public letters? Margaret Sanger, founder of Planned Parenthood, said, we have got to break up these families. We've got to get women working in these factories. How do we do it? We sell them the idea that they're rebelling against their husband by doing this. Miss Magazine, on record, Gloria Steinem admits, she wrote in one of her books, look it up, that she was hired by the CIA to go in and to get women to say, raising your kids isn't good. Being at home, the most important area of the, of the life, you know, is important. Go to work. That way they can tax the man and the woman. That way the state gets the children. That way they can break down normal human culture and make the state God. Margaret Sanger went on, look this up, to break down how they had to get women to see men as the enemy. And again, she went on to say, we'll use blacks because they're the weakest group, they're the poorest group, they're the most institutionalized group. At that time, just being 70 years or so out of slavery in the 1860s, she said, what we'll do is just like we had the old system of the women were brought into the house. You're getting the big secret of feminism right now. Just like the house slave was always a woman and the men were kept out in the barn and weren't allowed to read or write, we're going to set women up as the minders of society again. There's actually Roman handbooks on this from 2,000 years ago where they talk about, with white slaves at that time, mainly from Western Europe, you bring in the slaves, you kill a couple of the men in front of the women, you even kill some of the kids, and you tell the women, it's your job to keep these men in line or we're going to kill all of you. And they found that women, believing they were protecting people, would become incredible oppressors and tattletales over the men. And then within a few generations, they started enjoying the oppression and didn't even do it to, quote, protect the men. And I was reading about how they retranslated those Roman documents from Latin into French and then into English uh, by the 1820s or so uh, in the sugarcane plantations. I'm giving you history here. Heavy truth, folks. The sugarcane plantations of the Caribbean, they would bring a ship of slaves in. Already half of them on average from Africa would have died in the trip over because uh, they didn't really feed them from Africa. And they'd get them off the coffin ship, and then they would kill the most well-spoken, obvious leader, just from body language and things, of the blacks that was alive in front of the women. They'd beat their brains out, or they would hang them. And they'd tell the women, we're going to kill all your male children if you don't keep everybody in line. Is that understood? And they found the women would do whatever they were told. So that's where you get the mammy in all the Three Stooges movies and stuff, bossing the black guys around, and in all the old movies that are still you know, representing what really happened in history, where, where the black woman is, is in charge, and she's got the big, you know, big mammy outfit on, and Jemima, and she's in there telling those black men, you do what you're told. In fact, in this culture, it got so dominant that my father, when he would pick cotton, and he did pick cotton, uh, even though he came from a middle-class family, he was sent out to pick cotton, that he would go out and pick cotton on adjacent, uh, on adjacent farms and that they had groups of black people out there picking the cotton. And do you know who the bosses were? Giant, powerful black women. And they were even bossing the poor whites around. Now, that's what my dad grew up in East Texas. And my dad's only, what, 63 years old, okay? My dad grew up with a black woman foreman telling the poor whites what to do. Now, that's a, that, 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 that is that culture, ladies and gentlemen. And I've read in the history diaries about breeding programs in this country where they would actually single out the most aggressive, largest black women. This goes back 200 years. You can look this up. 
This is the history you're not supposed to know to be the dominant people. So that's all Katy Perry and all this is. That's what feminism is. In fact, there's Margaret Sanger to the KKK. Show them that. That's powerful. In fact, we'll get people a full screen of that. I'm begging you. That's a real photo. So let me expand on this, giving you the deep truth here. That's why in the 60s, blacks were demanding their liberty because they'd gone to war in World War II. They had their own communities, their own wealth. Illegitimacy was much lower than it is now. Crime rates much lower. And they said, Margaret Sanger and others, had developed the program. They said, what we'll do is we'll get them on welfare and we'll tell them, you can't have a man in the house who'll give you money. And we'll reinstitute, reinstitute the house slave model. And that's what they've created now. And uh, black men are told, just like white men, everybody else, to be lethargic, don't work, be a gangster, just get women pregnant all day, that you're winning when you do that, when you don't take care of your kids. This is now being exported back where it came from with German and Gaulish slaves in Rome. 